We want to give you our first look inside Ford's theater and that presidential box made famous from the event that took place on April 14th, the assassination inside Ford's theater by John Wilkes Booth. This facility has been a church, it's been a theater, it's been an Army Medical Museum, it's been a government storage facility, and now it is a National Historic Site operated by the National Park Service. Paul Tatro is the director of Ford's Theater, and he's joining us from the second floor balcony of that uh, storied and historic theater in northwest Washington. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Steve. It's a pleasure. We're going to spend uh, the full hour in the next hour looking inside Ford's Theater, but we want you for just a moment to give us a sneak preview. Well, I, you know, we're reopening the theater uh, for the first time in 18 months after just a major overhaul of this institution, which hasn't happened in over 40 years. And it's the most exciting time in the history of this theater, I think. Uh, coinciding with the bicentennial of Abraham Lincoln, it's just a very, very, very exciting time. Why did Abraham Lincoln uh, decide to go to Ford's Theater on that April evening with his wife, uh, Mary? Well, you know what's fascinating, Steve, is that Lincoln loved the theater. And what most people don't know is that Lincoln actually attended Ford's Theater over a dozen times that we have documented. He loved going to the theater, the opera. He attended it all the time during his four years of his presidency. In fact, he used it as a sort of respite to get away from the sort of trials of the White House, the sort of burdens of the war. And uh, so his going to Ford's Theater on April 14th was just another night out at the theater for he and Mary, which he loved to do during his presidency. And that presidential box behind you with the, the portrait of George Washington uh, directly in the center, is that how it looked on April 14th, 1865? That is exactly how it looks, Steve. What's fascinating is that Secretary of War Edward Stanton ordered uh, Matthew Brady, the famed Civil War photographer, to come in right after the assassination and photograph the entire theater as a, quote, crime scene. And in fact, he took photographs of the box and if you looked at the photographs that Matthew Brady took the several days after the assassination and compared it with how the box looks today, it is identical. What was involved in this renovation project? How did you preserve the history of Ford's theater while also moving into 21st century standards? Well, I, you know, I think it's always a challenge whenever you do a renovation that involves a, uh, you know, a historic site. You've got to be very careful, very delicate. Uh, the fact of the matter is that, you know, we were very um, cautious about how we worked within the actual auditorium itself and made sure that we kept it completely and historically accurate. Um, it was the things that we were able to do outside, you know, that we were able to upgrade the standards of the HVAC and the heating system. We added uh, ADA accessibility in a small townhouse next to the theater and then made connections to the theater. So we were, you know, of course, the way you handle this is very delicately, but I think what we've achieved here is quite impressive. And a little bit of background, uh, Paul Tatro, you're working all of this as we hear some of the contractors doing some last minute yeah, finishing exactly. up before it opens next week. Yeah, well, there's, there's still construction going on, as you can hear. Um, and, you know, we have our uh, opening of the play is happening on Sunday the 8th, and then we have our big grand opening happening on the 11th. And I think the contractors are feverishly working to uh, get things finished before we uh, open up next week. What is your background, and how did you get involved in all of this? Well, my background is primarily theater, where I've worked for the last 25 years. But over the last five years that I've been at Ford's Theater, uh, I like to tell people that I've become a, uh, an Abraham Lincoln scholar. So uh, I've, I, I've, it's probably a little overstated, but I think I've learned a tremendous amount about Abraham Lincoln working with our esteemed advisory board. And just, uh, you know, it's a special place, and it's hard not to uh, get into the history of uh, Ford's Theater and the history of Abraham Lincoln. He was an astonishing person. Paul Tatro, 